In this video, I want to talk about how to find area of a circle uh, without using the formula of pi r squared with a unit radius. So this is, uh, I'm going to find area of a circle uh, with radius 1. So you already know the formula of area of a circle. So let's write the area of a circle formula. Area of circle, uh, even in primary school you may have learned that area of a circle is pi times r squared. Now here we have got a circle with radius 1, so your r is 1, so if you put r as 1 in this equation, so this will be pi times 1 squared, which is pi. So the intention of this video is to also show you how people came, a bit, came about with this number pi, which is an amazing number in maths. Okay, this is one of the phi numbers in maths that we need, the phi numbers are 0, 1, uh, i, e, and pi. There are only five numbers in max, so I'm not going into uh, the details of that. All other numbers or any equation uh, can be made up by this these five numbers. Okay, so pi, you maybe have learned that pi is in two decimal point or decimal places is 3.14. This is rounded to two decimal places. But this number is an amazing number. And I want to show you how you come about this number, or how people found this number. Now, this is a circle, a unit circle, with radius 1. And that's why it's called a unit circle. So as you know, you're learning social studies, the greatest inv invention that man has ever made is to find a circle. Okay or anything, uh, a wheel was the greatest invention. The shape of the wheel is circular. And man has been always been find, uh, interested to find the area of a circle. So one of the great uh, pastimes, or the Greeks, used to argue about how to find the area of the circle. They knew, the Greeks uh, knew that area of any shape which is not uh, circular can be found by splitting that shape into rectangles and triangles. But when it came to a circle, they stumbled upon a problem, how to find the area of a circle, because you cannot split this into rectangles and triangles. So the only way in which you can find the area of a triangle, or circle, sorry, is to split this into small rectangles and estimate and find the area of a circle. So what I've done is, this is a circle with radius 1, I split this into five rectangles, sorry, four rectangles. So each rectangle has a width of 0 0.2. So this is, this coordinate is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. Okay? And so if you split this into equal width rectangles, uh, the width is same, okay? So the height will change. So if you add these four, rect area of these four rectangles, that will give you an estimate of a quarter of a circle. That means this is the first triangle, sorry, first rectangle, this is the second rectangle, this is the third rectangle, and this is the fourth rectangle. You can only split this if you are uh, splitting this uh, of equal width of 0.2, the, you can get only four uh, rectangles, and if you add them, you get an estimate, a very rough estimate of a quarter of a circle, and if you times that by four, you get an estimate of the area of the circle. Okay, now before I move on, I hope you know the area of a circle has got this formula of x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. A circle with a radius one, sorry, a circle which is centered at zero, zero. If a circle is centered at zero, zero, this is a general form of area of a circle. Now we know r is one, we know r is one, so the area of this circle or unit circle would be x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Okay, and if you make y the subject, I hope you should be knowing that, y would be square root of 1 minus x squared. So, if you know x, we can find y, and y would become your height. I hope you understand. So, this is your x, and this is your y is your height. So, at point 2, your height, uh, sorry, at point 1, uh, sorry, this is at the, going in point twos. Okay, so your height at zero, at zero you can understand your height is one. Okay, the height of the rectangle is uh, not rectangle. You can't get a uh, 
rectangle at zero at point two so at at zero your height of the rectangle which you cannot get of course I should uh, it's all right so I hope you can see at one at zero you can't get an area of a rectangle and that's why I put a dash here at point two you get the first rectangle so this is your first rectangle your height would be one minus 0.2 squared and if you simplify that that is 0.96 and area would be width which is your 0.2 and your height is the height of this rectangle is square root of 0.96 so i've not i've kept it at 0.96 if you go to the next rectangle so this is your second rectangle at 0.4 when x is 0.4 you get the second rectangle so it will be using this formula is 1 minus 0.4 squared which is 0.84 so the area of that rectangle would be 0.2 again. Your width the same. Your height keeps changing. Okay. And when it is 6.6, .6, you get the third rectangle. And your area is this. And this is your fourth rectangle. Okay. And you can't get the fifth rectangle because when you come to 1, your height will become 0. So your area is 0. So this is, if you simplify this, you can, I will slowly go over this. You can have your calculators out. And then... If you add these, you will get the area of a quarter circle. So that's what I've done. You can factor out the 0.2. So that will be 0.96 plus 0.84 plus 0.64 plus 0.36. You can check it on a calculator. And if you want to find the area of the circle, you times that by 4. Because this is a quarter circle and times that by 4. And this is a very rough estimate. Okay. So you can check this. My, check my calculations. And your estimate is area of this circle when you're splitting this into four rectangles of equal width of 0.2 units the area would be 2.63 so let me show this on excel now this is i use excel so this is 0 to 5 so what i've done here is this i i hope you can see the formula i've divided this into this is a2 this is a2 divided by 5 so and this is a2 divided by a3 divided by 5. So I hope you can see this is your x coordinate and your height is 1, so you can't get an area here. And this is the, so what I've done is I used the, this formula of square root of 1, sqrt is the command for square root in Excel, square root of 1 minus this squared. That's, this is your height. So this column is the column of height. And for this, I've used this formula, which is your base is 0.2 times your height. So these are the heights, individual heights of the four rectangles. So you've got one, two, three, four, four rectangles. And then the fifth rectangle, the area would be zero. There is no fifth rectangle. Okay, so if you add them, the sum of the rectangles is this. And area, I'll show you the formula, which is four times the sum of the rectangles. Okay, which is almost the same, 2.6370. So let me show you that back. So 2.6370. Okay. The next is, what I've done is, I've split this into, say, let us increase the, sorry, decrease the width. Okay. So you're going at a, uh, you're making 10 rectangles, sorry, 9 rectangles. You are making rectangles of a width of 0.1. So the same process, I would uh, stop here and I would like you to go through the calculation. So this, at 0.1, you get the first rectangle. At point 0.1, your height would be 0.99, which is 1 minus 0.1 squared. So this is your height, okay? And then I multiplied this. Your width is, area of each rectangle would be 0.1 times your height. This would be 0.1 times this respective height. Okay, I have done, I want you to use your calculator and check my working. And then I've done the working. So this is the sum of the rectangles. This is the sum of the rectangles. And this is the area of the rectangle. So can you see the estimate is getting better? Okay. So when it is point, when you're dividing into width of 0.2, your estimate is 2.63. When it is 0.1, it is 2.90. This itself is not good enough. So the, again, I've done this on Excel. So I've divided this. So can you see the x coordinate? So these are the x coordinates. These are your x coordinates and these are your y coordinates. Okay. Okay. So just I'll show you the formula again. The same thing square root of 
uh, 1 minus your x squared and square root it. Okay, and then this is the area, I'll show you the formula, which is 0 0.1, your width is 0 0.1, and this is your height. Okay, now this is the sum of rectangles. If you add them, this is what you get, and the area of the rectangle is 2, 2.9045. So this is when the rectangle is split into 10, 10, sorry, 9 equal rectangles of width 0.1. Okay, the next, I have, what I've done is I've split this into 100 rectangles. So this is again, you can see, this is one rectangle of width 0 0.01. So this is, uh, I've only shaded one, it's almost impossible, it's not possible to split this into 10 rectangles. So this is a spreadsheet. So can you see this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 .0, sorry, 0 0.01. This is a 1 divided by 100. This would be uh, 2 divided by, so you can have equal intervals, so it's 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 and so on. And this is the height, the same formula, the square root of 1 minus the squared. So this is your height and this is your area. Okay, area is, your width is 0 0.01 times this. Okay, and if you add them, okay, so this is the sum, so you can use, look at the formula, it is the sum from D3 to D102. Can you see this is D102? Okay, and this is your area. Okay, this is a quarter of a circle. And then I'll times that by four, that will give you the area of circle, which is 3.12. Okay, on the next page, I split this into 1,000 rectangles. Okay, again, can you see this is 1,000, the width is, one out of 1,000, which is 0 0.001. Okay, this is 0 0.002. So the width is, they are decreasing the width. And again, the same thing, this is your height. This is your height using the formula square root of one minus x squared. And this is your area. This is your area. Okay, let me show you the area here, which is one out of 1,000. This is your width times your height. And then I've done the same thing. I've split this into 1,000. So this is the sum of the rectangle or quarter of, a, quarter of a circle is this. And this is the area of the circle, which is a better estimate, 3.1394. Okay, now the next is I have divided this into 1 out of 5,000. So this is 0 0.0002. So this is... Uh, only one rectangle, and this is the area. Okay, so this is your height, which is square root of 1 minus your x squared. And this is your area of each of this rectangle, and this I've split this into 5,000 rectangles. So the area is, can you see the area of the circle? So this is area of quarter of a circle, and this is 3.14. So as you increase the as you decrease the width of the circle, you approach this magical number, which is 3.1411, okay? And uh, as, suppose, if you can do this further, you can divide this into 10,000 and see what happens. This number would be approaching this magical number, which is, on a calculator, you go shift by equal 3.1415, okay? So we have gone up to the third decimal value. Can you see 3.141, okay? And if you again make this smaller, the width smaller and smaller, you will approach that magical number.